Is there a better way to go live with your GoPro camera? Well, yeah, actually there is. For those of you who don't know, the GoPro camera has the ability to go live directly from the app itself. What you do is you set up your camera. In this case, I have the Hero 9 mounted on a pole over here, uh, hence the wide angle. And you just simply go into the app and hit go live after you punch in your details. And that allows you to stream live to YouTube, Facebook, Twitch, uh, even GoPro.com has their own streaming service. And you can actually use any other service that has RTMP supported. But the problem is that a lot of people find that when they go live, the camera connection may drop and that ends their stream suddenly. Then they have to do the whole setup process all over again. And that's not really ideal for when you're trying to go live and reach an audience. So is there a better way to go live? Well, yeah, there is. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the best way to go live using your GoPro camera. And that's with OBS Studio. Now, I hope you enjoy the video. Sit back and relax. This is Demon View. I swear if this is like take one million of this, <laughs> getting an intro done can be quite difficult. Anyway, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate you tuning in and I hope you're finding these videos to be useful. If they are, please click the like and subscribe buttons as it really does help out with channel views and make sure that more videos get made in the future. Anyway, in this video, we're gonna be covering the basics of OBS Studio and why you should be using this software to go live. So I hope you enjoy the video. So what is OBS Studio and why should you be using it instead of the GoPro Live feature on your camera? Well, with the GoPro Live feature, you have the opportunity to use one camera, the GoPro, and that's it. You can hit record, go live, and well, that, that's kind of it. It's a one trick pony. The other problem is that if your GoPro drops connection using the GoPro Live feature, which has been known to happen, your stream ends there and then, your viewers are going to be pretty disappointed and you're gonna really have to kind of go back into your whole settings again to set up your live broadcast so the viewers can tune back in. And you know, you might drop viewership during all of that and it's just not very professional. So that's why I recommend using OBS Studio with your GoPro camera for quite a few reasons. Number one is that obviously you can use your GoPro camera with it, but you can also have multi-camera support. In fact, just by clicking one button, I can switch back to this C110 Logitech camera that I've set up over here, and that's pretty awesome. But I've also got another camera over there, the Logitech C120 set up in the photo booth, and if I just click another button, there we go. Now we're looking live at the photo booth over there. If I wanna show you what's on my desktop, just click another button, and there we go, we have desktop capture, and this is the OBS Studio website where you can download OBS Studio for free. And then on top of all that, if I want to switch to my expensive webcam for a really good picture, Another button click and there we go. So that's a real good distinct advantage to using OBS Studio. It's got multi-camera support and you can switch between multiple cameras. So if you're doing a DIY or like an arts and crafts channel or even wanna show people what you're doing, you could have an overhead camera looking straight down and switch between, you know, doing your overhead stuff, showing where your hands are doing and then switching back to the camera here if you wanted to actually, you know, have that type of thing going on. Not only that, you can also do picture in picture in fact, I can even do a picture in picture in picture and have all three cameras recording at the same time to give you that kind of, you know, real kind of split angle. And that's easily done with a drag and drop. This is what you're seeing all three cameras. I can just now basically resize by clicking and dragging. And that's, I have to say, it's pretty awesome that I can do that. And because it has multi-audio support, I can also switch between microphones. I was recording using the uh, Rode wireless microphone, but now I can go back to using my Yeti microphone because it's got that deeper, richer sound. Anyway, as you can see, there are some distinctive advantages to using OBS Studio. So what is OBS Studio? Where do you get it? And how do you use it? Well, if you just type in obsproject.com into the internet, it'll bring you up to the OBS Studio, or you can just type in OBS Studio into your search engine, and there you go, it pops up straight away. And depending on which computer system you have, you've got an opportunity to download for Windows, Mac, and Linux. If you want to download Windows, as you can see, it's just starting to download here, not a problem. And you can go through the usual setups. I'm, I'm gonna let you do that by yourself since I'm recording in OBS Studio. I don't wanna try live reinstalling OBS Studio as I'm recording. But once you get into OBS Studio, here's what you'll see. Okay, so this is a capture of my desktop here. This is OBS Studio, as you can see, and this is 
again what I'm recording and that's just kind of repeating itself there like a bad 80s music video. So what I've done here is I have only have now the display capture setup and the Kaio webcam setup. If I click on hide here, I'm back to that webcam. So how do you set up OBS Studio? Well, it's actually very easy. For instance, I'm just going to click on this plus icon here for add source. And in this case, I want to set up a new video capture device. So I'm just going to click on video capture device. Uh, create new and I'm just going to call this one GoPro webcam. Okay. And now it's going to give me this drop down menu. Now it's trying to use my laptop webcam here, which as you can see is really bad. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go down to GoPro webcam, click OK. And now that's activating the GoPro webcam software. And there we go. That's how easy it is to set things up. So as you can see, the GoPro webcam is now set up. And if we just go back to display capture here, we can actually see that the GoPro webcam is right at the top, followed by the Kaio webcam and the display capture. And that's all you really have to do is click these little um, icons here to switch between different feeds. And as you saw earlier on, I also had my Logitech camera set up. So I'm just going to add a video capture, capture device again. Create new. We're going to call this Logitech C120. Click OK. And again, it's going to give me the drop down menu, what I want to select. And in this case, I want to take the webcam 920. Have that as a source and there you go i've switched back to the photo booth and that's how easy it is just to add all these cameras in now as you can see this is a small camera up in my right hand corner because i can do picture in picture with this stuff like i said earlier so i'm just going to click on that webcam and drag that out to fill the screen so now that we've got obs software set up we have our video sources and audio sources added how do we stream to youtube well, I'm going to show you here right now using the desktop capture. So how exactly do we start streaming to YouTube once we have all our video sources and everything set up in OBS Studio? Well, the first thing we do is we click on Manage Broadcast. And as you can see, you can actually put in a title here, a description, whether you want it public, unlisted or private. We're just going to go unlisted for right now and select your category. And these are basically all the uh, bits and pieces that you can do on YouTube afterwards. You can actually adjust all these in YouTube Studio later. Then we can select an existing broadcast. And as you can see, I already have the Demon View LLC live stream set up. But let's just open YouTube Studio right now. And YouTube Studio is opening, as you can see. And this is, oh, my channel content with it live and everything. If you were to click on Create here and select Go Live, this basically sets up your live stream for you. This gives you the uh, RTMP key to type in and your... Uh, your stream key, which is private, as you can see, it's hidden. But uh, this would directly connect to YouTube Studio. Let's see, select broadcast and start streaming. Now we get this out of the way, put it over here. And I'm just going to select my uh, Logitech camera here. And as you can see, the live stream now, which is here recording, and this is going through OBS Studio. Now it's showing my uh, Logitech camera here. Now I select the GoPro webcam, which is up there. And as you can see, this is all being done through OBS Studio. And I'm selecting all the different sources that I have and it's working perfectly. So if I'm going to go live here and use all this different, all these different cameras and options through OBS Studio. Well, as you can see, it works out just fine. There is a bit of delay between live, but uh, that's to be expected. Uh, I think YouTube normally has about a five to 10 second buffer anyway. So as you can see, it's extremely easy to go live using OBS Studio, and it gives you a lot more options than just using the uh, live broadcast feature of your camera. So what else is there to know? Well, it's kind of like the best way to actually use your GoPro with the OBS software. And that is to actually remove the internal battery from the camera and use it as a webcam. Using your GoPro as a webcam is going to offer you a number of advantages. For instance, if you remove the internal battery and use the USB-C pass-through door like I'm doing here, then your camera is not going to run out of battery or power because it's being powered by the USB-C cable. Also, it's not going to overheat because you're just using it as the webcam. 
And this is comparable to using the GoPro Live feature because it offers you the exact same thing, which is 1080p picture at 60 frames per second. Now, a lot of uh, people might actually purchase a GoPro thinking, well, I'm gonna get a 5.3K webcam. Not the case, it's 1080p no matter which service you use. Even if you have the media mod attached and are using the HDMI, HDMI out, it's still gonna be 1080p, unfortunately. However, using your GoPro camera in webcam mode means that you can use it with OBS Studio. You can switch between all those different various video sources and it's easy to do, like I said, in just a click of a button. I mean, you can switch between, like I said, the Kaya webcam and the GoPro webcam and that's a single button click. I mean, this is how easy it is to use. Now, try to imagine that if you're doing an arts and crafts channel and you're working here, you wanna to speak directly to the camera. You may also want something that looks straight down. So therefore, you know, you could have a camera mounted here as you do stuff with your hands and show people exactly what you're working on. So, like I said, there's huge advantages to using OBS Studio. So hopefully that's something that you're going to consider using in the future and you found this video helpful in making that decision. So if you did like this video, if you did find it helpful, please click those like and subscribe buttons as it really does help out with the channel and I really do appreciate it. So until next time, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you then. Cheerio. In one more note, as you can see, I'm busy in the editing phase right now and it gets really cold in this garage, but uh, I've got the massage chair with the heat on. It feels good. Hey.